All you who believe, the Almighty Lord is addressing us because we are all believers, are we not? So all you who believe, enter in Islam completely, all of Islam, and do not follow the footsteps of Satan, of Shaitan. For indeed, he is nothing but a clear, explicit enemy to you. So when you open the door for Islam, in your home, you do not allow, after Islam enters, the footsteps of Satan to follow. And the footsteps of Satan, if they follow, that means you are going to be taking what you want, what you desire, and throwing out what you don't want, out the window. So you make sure when you enter Islam, in your home, close the door and prevent that devil, that shaitan, Satan, the accursed, from following that Islam. And enter Islam with full embracement. This is Islam. You get many brothers who I've heard recently criticizing the Christians. Why do they criticize the Christians? They say they are only Christians for one day a week. Every Sunday. Sunday Mass. Where they have their bread and wine. The wine is supposed to be the blood of Jesus. And the bread is supposed to be the flesh of Jesus. Flesh <laughs> Anyway, they criticize the Christians saying that they're only Christians for one day. Why were the same Muslims? They are only Muslims in Ramadan. When Ramadan comes, I'm a Muslim. They embrace all of Islam. They start praying. They fast. They stop theft. They stop drinking alcohol. They stop smoking hash. They stop doing evil. Only in this month. But when this month is over, Alhamdulillah, I felt imprisoned. I was locked up. And they go jump from one sin to another. And then Ramadan comes, they feel a burden on them. Oh, Ramadan's going to come. I better prepare myself for it. Have they entered Islam completely? No. Are they Muslims? No. Because They did not enter Islam completely. They are nothing but liars. This is the first quality which you can attain salvation. Very clear. Innal muslimina wal muslimat. The first quality for every Muslim man and woman. Wal mu'minina wal mu'minat. The second quality comes now. For every believing men and women. A believer, a mu'min, is a person who has faith. He lives with and in faith. Not only has faith, he lives with and in faith. And a mu'min is a person with full conviction and certainty of the heart. We know that Islam is submission in the outward sense. Well, Iman is in the inward sense. External, internal. It is the deeper aspect of Islam. It is to have full certainty, full belief. Love in the body, mind and soul for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a believer, in better words, is a person who abides by the commands of Allah Ta'ala and abstains, pushes away, puts a barrier between him and his prohibitions. The tribe of Azad came to Medina, an Arab Bedouin tribe. And when they came to Medina, they embraced Islam. They embraced Islam. After embracing Islam, they requested from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam charity, money claiming that they were true believers as the believers that fought alongside and suffered alongside Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look at the situation. They just embraced Islam and they're claiming to be as strong as those who had fought and suffered alongside Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As you can see, it's a presumptuous claim on their part. 
So the Almighty Lord told Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to rebuke them. قَالَتَ الْأَعْرَابُ آمَنَّ قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا وَقُولُوا أَسْلَمْنَا وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلِ الْإِيمَانِ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ The Arab, the Bedouin said, we believe. We truly believe. Allah says, say that you have not believed, but say instead, we have submitted. We have submitted formally to Islam. And yet the faith has not entered your heart. When does it enter your heart? When does it enter your heart? What does a mu'min mean? A mu'min is a Muslim, but not every Muslim is a mu'min. When are you a mu'min? When you know that fornication is haram, I withdraw from it. When you know that alcohol is haram, I withdraw from it. When you know that theft is haram, murder is haram, slander is haram, lying is haram, I withdraw from it. This is a mu'min. As the Prophet ﷺ said clearly in a beautiful narration, I swear by Allah Ta'ala, he does not believe. The companions asked, O oh, Prophet of Allah, who does not believe? He said, the one from whose harm his neighbor is not safe. And another occasion he said, the fornicator is not a believer while committing fornication. Nor is the wine drinker a believer while drinking. Nor is the thief a believer while committing theft. Nor is a murderer a believer when committing murder. And we know the many narrations. You cannot truly believe until you love for your brother what you love for yourself. When you love for your brother what you love for yourself, you can be called a mu'min. So if you're hungry at home, and your neighbor who's a Muslim brother of yours or sister uh, is, is hungry and you've eaten with your big belly, after you've had your big meal, and you know your next door neighbor is hungry, or your Muslim brother or sister is hungry, and you don't aid that person while you're able to aid him, you are not a mu'min. You could be a Muslim, but you are not a mu'min. Because you have not love for your brother what you love for yourself. You have not love for your brother what you love for yourself. And this is Iman. This is Iman. The third quality. وَالْقَانِتِينَ وَالْقَانِتَاتِ And al kunut is to... is a devout, a humbly devout person, you can say. It means to be always aware of Allah Ta'ala. It means obedience and worship in the most humble way. In other words, you are always humble. You're always aware of Allah Ta'ala. When you eat, when you drink, when you stand, when you sit, when you sleep, when you awaken, when you work, when you play, when you do anything, you know that Allah Ta'ala is there. Thus, you are fully aware that you do not do anything that Allah Ta'ala is not like. Thus, you are a qanit, you are a muhsin. And this is in a narration of the great famous hadith of Umar ibn al-Khattab, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, when Jibril asked Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is ihsan? And what did he reply with? He said, ihsan is to worship Allah ta'ala as though you see him. Though you do not see him, he sees you. Imagine a person that worships Allah ta'ala in this manner. Now, brothers and sisters, can you imagine when you pray that you worship Allah Ta'ala knowing for certainty that Allah is looking at you now? How would you act? Would you be able to commit fornication? When you know for certainty that Allah is watching you? You believe Allah is watching you? You are aware of this? You are a khanit, a muhsin? Would you commit fornication? 